New details tonight about how a 78-year-old woman was killed, and we have uncovered more information about her 21-year-old grandson who is accused of killing her. It's the story everyone has branded a tragedy. Lucille Gladney was a beloved figure in her far southeast side neighborhood where she had lived quietly for more than four decades. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt joins us live tonight from the Marion County Jail with more on the story. Jack. Metro Police made quick work of the investigation. Family members who discovered the victim's body also discovered her car was missing. Police found it one block away with her grandson, Richard Norris, sitting behind the wheel. And tonight, he's charged with her murder. Metro Police arrested 21-year-old Richard Norris shortly after family members found his 78-year-old grandmother's body in her far southeast side home. When the grandson turned on the grandma, it was just a very tragic uh, set of circumstances, like I said. Not anything that we uh, are accustomed to. However, um, we are very compassionate and understand what the family is going through. So it's just a very sad situation all around. Today, family and friends made a floral tribute on the front porch of Lucille Gladney's home that she moved her family into 43 years ago. She was one of the first blacks to move in and integrate the neighborhood and has been accepted ever since. Probably fixed breakfast a couple times and I think she was uh, taking care of a lady down the street. Just, you know, good, good soul person. News of Gladney's violent death swept the neighborhood. That she opened her door to so many people is what everyone will miss most. I was hurt because I know her. She's a nice lady. I'd, be, I'd feel the same way if they would tell me that about you. I just hate it, you know, it's just so much. According to police records, Richard Norris had been hospitalized twice in the past eight months for health issues before he went to live with his grandmother. Family was trying to get him some help. Um, it was just family was trying to get some help, and it was just a tragic thing that that happened. You know, it's like family trying to get him some help, just trying to go through the system, and the system didn't help. Richard Norris has been diagnosed as schizophrenic. He was kicked out of his own home in December for beating his mother. And in the first week of August, he was hospitalized for threatening the life of a child. He was released in August, of August 10th, rather. And one week later, police say he strangled his grandmother with a cord and beat her with a hammer. Reporting live from the Marion County Jail, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.